And by the way, like, how much did you make exactly over the last 30 days? Yeah, so uh, over the last 30 days, that was uh, 18,650 euros. Not bad. <laughs> You're crushing it. All right, so our client, Emmanuel, he made $18,000 in 30 days. He has 700 followers on social media, but not only that, in fact, he didn't even know what he could be coaching when he came to us. Turns out he was very passionate about music production, so we turned that into a very lucrative business. I got him on an interview, talking about the process, so you can replicate that, so enjoy, and let's get started. And what exactly is it that you're teaching people? You're teaching them music production, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I teach uh, people how to produce music to uh, an industry standard. And also, like, I like how to, because music production and mixing, they're two separate things. So I'm also teaching them how to, how to mix music and also how to master music. So basically, taking an idea, right? Taking, or I, I work with intermediates, okay? And uh, I teach people who already know how to produce to actually get to the next level where their music can work in yeah. the industry. And um, is that only electronic music or is, do you have different genres or how exactly does that work? Um, so it's, it's mainly uh, electronic music, but just because uh, most of my clients, I mean, nowadays you cannot really separate. <laughs> There's such a thin line between electronic music mm. and, uh, and non-electronic music. I mean, something that would be non-electronic would be like, for example, acoustical jazz, you know, yeah. but uh, anything else other than that, like even if you're just playing guitar, and and singing then maybe you're still using some synths in the background you know so it, it's let's say it's a mixture i wouldn't separate yeah and the thing is like i think i remember with you we were testing out what kind of positioning works best and i think when we positioned you with only beginners or when we thought about doing it it didn't work as well so we said let's focus on intermediates because these guys already have invested in equipment and these guys probably are able to afford your services or that was that, that was our thought process or did we think about something else yeah no exactly uh that's that's what we said i still remember the live call with you where we yeah. <laughs> where we talked about that and uh yeah that's exactly how it went so initially i mean i didn't really have a clear direction right and and then uh, have, having that as a as a clear path you know only focusing on intermediates it it did make things uh, easier because <laughs> Uh, yeah, first of all, of course, these are people that really want to wanna make it with their music, you know? It's not like beginners that are like, you know, maybe I want to do it, maybe I want to make a living with my music. No, these are people like who have been like maybe one, two years in mm -hmm. and and they feel like they really lack that, that a secret sauce, you know, <laughs> that everybody talks about, which I can teach them. And, uh, and so they're way more willing, of course, to, to invest in themselves. Right. And um, and so that that's what made the difference for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really interesting. Did you how did you learn the skill yourself? I started 10 years ago. Right. Then I went into a into a private school. OK, to learn the, the skills. Uh, even then, though, at the end of it, I wasn't really to that level. Right. It, and what I always tell my clients is like um, schools yeah, are good. They give you, let's say, a bit of everything. So if you, you need to learn a bit of everything about the topic, right? Uh, but usually by the end of it, you're still not really there. And what people are left with is like they still have to uh, wander around and, and figure it out for themselves, uh, which is eventually what I made my mission to solve for people. You know, I, I want to give them a path to actually get to that level without having to wander for five to 10 years on their own. And the way I got that those skills is like when I was right where they are uh, right now. So I was trying to learn. I was like, how could I, without like 10 years experience, make music that sounds like those guys that have been 20 years in the, in the business, in the, in the music making business. And so I kind of developed a, a process for myself uh, because I'm a big problem solver. Like I love to solve <laughs> problems and puzzles. And so I created an objective method that basically allowed me, even without that experience, to know exactly what I was doing. Because music is very subjective and everything is relative if you don't use a, an objective system. So to give a clear example, in terms of, for example, the frequency balance, how many uh, low frequencies, how many mid frequencies, how many high frequencies you have in there. 
you you don't really know if you don't use an objective system and then what happens people uh, make music and they make levels they make uh, they go and maybe even mix it and then uh, by the end of it they compare to professional uh, tracks and it doesn't sound anything like it mm -hmm. so that's the system i created for myself to make sure at every step of the process i was always going the right direction and so it was basically the uh, to answer your question the way i got there it was basically a lot of uh, self assessment, a lot of uh, problem solving, and then of course also getting some tips here and there from a couple of mentors that for sure helped. Interesting, man. I could I could tell you're super into this. <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> about it. And that's cool because you know you took your passion, you got better at it, and now you're monetizing it, and now you're getting good at that as well. Especially in the music field, I think there's so many artists that are so good at their craft, but they're broke. They're not, I think, to be honest, like they should also find out how to market themselves and how to sell because that way they also get paid for what they're good at, which is the case for you. And that's really, that's really cool. You know, when you came to us, when you, when you joined our program, where, where were you on your business journey? Did you already have some experience? Did you know what you wanted to be coaching? No. So actually like, it's funny because I came to the program with something completely different. Like I was producing music, of course, like I, I, I was already a producer, as I said, but I was a bit of adventure in my life, like before joining this and, and basically what I was doing, like before I was working with people with NLP, you know, with neuro linguistic programming, uh, I was working, let's say in that field. Yeah, for some reason, I wanted to go with that, which also I got a few clients at the beginning of it in that in that niche also. But then uh, I remember also a call with you and you mentioned like, let's focus first on something you're absolutely sure that you're 100% good at it. And then if you want, you can go wherever you want once you're yeah, already uh, earning uh, through that, right. And so I went with the uh, with the music production niche and it it did work out very well and and something i wanted to add uh to what you said before right that that now um it's good because i i am earning with my passion and and all of that um something very important to say there is that it's because it, people a lot of times uh think that like earning with their passion is like somehow it's like mischievous you know like it's it's something that it's uh um, I don't know that it's, it's some very weird programming that we have and that you, you guys really help to, to break down, you know, and the thing is like, it's very good, but I feel very good about it because I can give people insane value. Like I can give people exactly what they're looking for and, and they're happy, of course, to invest in themselves from there, you know, for that. Yeah, that's a, that's a hundred percent spot on. So it's actually interesting, yeah, that you came from a different niche before. And uh, yeah, I mean, we, we ended up positioning you in the right one. And there you go now. And now you can still, you know, if you if you like the NLP stuff, you can still do that on the side or you can incorporate it into your coaching nonetheless, you know. Um, just to confirm, because people are going to watch this and they're like, okay, you know, this guy made 18K. That's roughly 20K dollars. Um, are you using a funnel? Are you using or do you have a lot of social media followers? Social media? <laughs> I can tell you right now. It's not very big. Yeah, 749 followers. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's also broke us uh, uh, this belief for me that I thought you needed to have huge social media, right? It's it's really not necessary. And yeah, then the rest of that was just basic FBM strategy with the little difference that I, I decided to, to design a little website for myself to showcase what I do. And I, yeah, I did it myself because i have a little bit of design skills uh but but that was all other than that i don't have i'm not running ads uh, i don't have a weird funnel i don't know it's it was all done through uh direct outreach you know uh, manual yeah. generation yeah nice i mean obviously crushing it what do you say because you kind of mentioned like the program and how you went through it like what do you say were like your biggest lessons personally from uh the fpm program let's say one of them could be that there is no real scarcity like you know uh, before this i was like even even when i started you know right when i started i was still um like am i really gonna find i mean i am i really gonna get to that uh to that amount of uh you know revenue whatever uh, monthly revenue i didn't really believe in it because I mean, I had been programmed for, the, for, for all the earlier part of my life, like to, to think that it's hard to, to, to work for yourself, you know, to, to, uh, to earn with your own business. Like everybody tells you, like, go have a job, you know, and, and stuff like that. 
And um, but yeah, now what I realized is like I can make how much I want. It just depends on me deciding it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just just a decision because actually, like through the strategies um, that you guys offer through through what you teach, uh, and also not only the strategies like like uh, lead gen um, and and uh, or, or even the sales uh, skills. You know, because that's very important. Like without it, I I wouldn't be doing any of this. Um, but once you have that, like then really like the world, it's really abundant in terms of people that really want and need your services, like whatever you do, you know, it's, it's like, like there, there are people who are willing to invest in themselves to, to get better at at whatever thing you might be teaching or whatever service you might be offering They're you know, they're willing to invest in themselves. You just need to find them. And that's what you guys teach. And you just need to learn how to, of course, guide them uh, through making the right decision for themselves. So that, that was definitely one of the biggest lessons. That's sick. That's, that's actually an interesting lesson. Because I, uh, I asked the same question to everybody and I've never heard that. That's, hey, it's about abundance and it's a super epic concept for 100% spot on. If you look at your daily life, on a regular day in the life of Emanuele, what does what does it look like? Three days a week, I go to the gym. Every day of the week, aside from Sunday, I have sessions with my clients. It's usually only two sessions a day. Okay, so one hour and a half, uh, two times a day usually, so, um, and maybe one day or two, I have three, um, and that's it. And then for the rest, really, that's the I mean, that's the the active work. And then the rest of it is maybe working a little bit on, on my business to, to now make it even better, right? To, to, to change it a little bit and make it easier for myself. Other than that, like I work on other projects, other stuff like musical projects, um, things that I still have uh, on the side because I didn't drop music, you know, I like, I like to, to keep doing that. And so that's what my uh, daily life looks like, uh, more or less, like I just a, just a normal life, uh, working probably less than than what I would be working if I was working for somebody else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What did you do before? You, you must have had a job before or something. Yeah. So it wasn't. I was. I still wasn't working for somebody. Okay. Uh, I was producing for other people. I was producing music for other people. So that's that's what I would do. Yeah. How much did you make there, roughly, on average? Oh, it depends. Uh, it, it changed really month by month. Because also, again, I didn't have all these business skills that you guys taught me. If I would go back now, I would make way more, even just with that. So I yeah. was making like something like 1, 2K uh, per month, depending really. But it, it was never like on the upper side. It was probably usually more towards the, the lower side of it. Yeah, that, that's how much I was, I was making back then, producing for other people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, just like we said before, like there's a lot of really talented people and they're barely getting paid because they're lacking these like basic business skills of marketing sales. And it's cool that you're not getting paid appropriately. And it's probably like you said, like even when you now do do the producing for someone else, you probably charge higher prices. You know how to sell these higher prices and so on and so forth. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I mean, now like business wise, like I, I have a completely different outlook on, on how to do things you know and that and that's i think that's a beautiful thing about uh fbm is like it's, it's not like really limited uh to to something specific but you can really apply these to to anything honestly yeah exactly 100 percent. it's like it's like you learn these skills once and they stay with you forever and you can you know they really help you in any kind of life situation even if it's not business related um but yo you know you've made 18k last month like what are you going to do with the money? Well, I'm trying to save uh, <laughs> as much as possible from that because then I, I want to actually, again, I like better my, my own business. I mean, now I have a very solid, let's say, product that people want. You know, I can help people. So what I want to do is help even more of them. And, uh, and yeah, so I mean, uh, some of it, of course, most of it, I'm going to save it. I'm going to do a little holiday in, uh, in one month from now in Paris. That's cool. And you know, like you might think that 18K is, is great and all, and it's, it's a big milestone. And for us though, it's the first milestone. It's like the very baseline thing, because to be honest, especially with a guy of your skill set, you can make much more like the plan. I love the fact that you say like, let me save that money because you can probably later on use it to invest it in yourself, invest it in your business, and then turn these 18K into 36K. And then you turn that into 50K. And that's then that's then going to catapult you up to like a whole new sphere 
where you say, like, okay, now you're part of the, the best paying producers or best paying coaches in the producing niche. And that's really cool because like people basically need two things when they want to get there. Number one, they need to be, have the actual skill. You know, if you're now a beginner producer, you're not going to be able to get that quickly that much money. And you have that skill because you have the experience, you have the system, you're clearly super passionate about it. The other thing is you need to have the business skill, right? Just like I said before, like you need to have the, the marketing, you need to have the sales experience and so on and so forth. And then I would say there's a third thing that you need. And that is actually the willingness to keep pushing to say, hey, this is just the beginning. I can make much more. And then you can even do cooler things like, I don't know, hire an assistant so they can do some of the work that you're not enjoying as much. So you can, at the end, make more money and focus more on the things that you really enjoy doing within your business. Just like me, you know, like I don't handle, I don't know, like invoices and stuff like that because I hate that. It's just, just like paperwork. What I do like is being in touch with clients, doing epic interviews and shooting content. Like that's what I love doing most. And that's kind of like how I built the business around me. So I can really just focus on the one thing, two things that I really enjoy the most. And at the same time, I'm also making more money. That's really cool, you know? So I think, you know, from my perspective, we're just getting started. Like really, like imagine we're doing another view, another interview six months from now where it's like not 18K, but it's 30K or 50K. Like that's a legitimate possibility. I really wanna, wanted to use that interview as an opportunity to tell you that that this is a legitimate possibility for you. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, that's exactly what I <laughs> what I want to save money for, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's that's my idea. I mean, again, I as I said, like I I I do know I have I have something like people really need and, and nobody else in the industry has because literally yeah. I know I have created this system, you know, I have created this method. So it's quite revolutionary. And, uh, and, and so I know it can bring me there. And so if I can get to that level and help even more people, then why not, you know? All right, and we're back here. Hey, if this inspires you and you say, hey, I also want to build my freedom business from a hobby, skill, expertise, passion, or maybe you don't even know what exactly it is that you want to be doing, there's a link down in the description of this video for you to book a free consultation call directly with me and my team. We'll be looking at your situation, looking at your goals, looking at your business ideas, looking at your strengths, analyzing all, and we can tell you the exact steps you need to take that Emanuele also took that can get you your own freedom business. Like I said, link in the description below, fill that out, book the call and talk to you soon.